the most animated he gets, and we're going to, we're going to do a story about this, is, uh, is when he talks about his old Youngstown days. When he talks about growing up, you know, in a house full of kids and a street full of kids and a neighborhood full of kids and, you know, going to school and going to, uh, you know, going to the ball yard and playing ball and, and going to church on Sunday morning at the Catholic Church. That's what his life was. And, he, you know, he'll talk, uh, you know, you can't get him to talk much about the University of Texas or his game plan or who's the backup quarterback. But you get him talking on Youngstown and he'll talk all day. He loves to talk about the old Youngstown days. Well, I think it shaped him a lot. Maybe not in terms of X's and O's, although the whole entire Stoops family, they're defensive guys. But I think intensity, work ethic, those things really rubbed off on Bob from his father. And the other thing, too, when Bob goes to Youngstown, he's just a regular guy. I think he carries a, an aura here in Oklahoma, a very public figure, a, a very famous person. But in Youngstown, he's just like he was in high school. And it's the same thing for the Bo Pelinis and the Mike Stoops and the Ray Mancinis of the world, too.